Aloha, welcome back to this YouTube channel. For today's session we are going to tackle about the homeroom guidance of grade 5 for quarter 1, module 3, entitled, Studying My Way. Learning Objectives At the end of this module, you are expected to 1. State your motivation to study despite the pandemic. 2. Demonstrate independence in performing personal and other school-related tasks. And 3. Analyze your study habits in connection to personal academic goals. For the introduction of this module. Hello. You are now reading the last module for this quarter. We will talk more about how you learn best especially this time of the pandemic. How do you find learning during this pandemic? What made you decide to enroll this school year? Your academic goal might have influenced you as it is the set or target accomplishment that you want to attain every school year. It can be a high grade, recognition in any subject, exemplary academic performances, or any other. You may have other things that keep you going to school, and it is really interesting why these keep you on track. For your first activity, which is the Let's Try This. You are going to read and copy on a sheet of paper the phrases that you can identify as your reasons for studying. Feel free to add other reasons that are not included in the table. Answer the processing questions on the same paper as well. Below is the table that has a list of reasons why I go to school and study. After you finish doing the activity, you may now proceed on answering these three processing questions. Number 1. What do you notice with your answers? 2. Will your answers be the same answers with or without pandemic? And 3. Why do you need to have a reason to study? For your Let's Explore This activity, you are going to follow the instructions. The table below shows the written sample responses. Number 1. Write down three of your academic goals when you were in grade four. Two. Recall three situations or activities that helped you achieve your academic goal. Write these down under column A. Three. Recall the results or consequences of these situations and write them under column B. And four. Under column C. Write yes if the result helped you attain your academic goal, and no if it did not. Note, examples are given below as your guide. Academic goal, to obtain higher grades or score in my subjects and pass. These are the table that will guide you to do the activity. Here are the examples in column A. I asked help from my sister and father about my homework on the names of government officials in our locality for my homework in Erling Panlapunin 4. The result in column B and the answer on column C, example number 2. I pretended to be sick so as not to go to school and played mobile video games the whole day. The result. I failed my math quiz the following day. And the answer in column C. After you finish doing the activity, you may now answer this three processing questions. Number 1. What did you do to achieve your grade 4 academic goals? 2. What is your academic goal for this school year? And 3. What helpful grade 4 practices do you still want to continue doing to achieve your academic goal this year? 
Now, you must keep this in mind, study habits, learn or study, for different reasons. Some want to make their parents proud, and some only do it for allowance or ban. Others want to spend time with their friends. There are also good reasons why you chose to continue studying in this challenging situation. As a grade 5 learner, your motivation to study can do wonders. It will keep you on track in terms of what you need to accomplish. It promotes your willingness to learn and perform all activities that entail to achieve the lesson objectives. It makes you focus and develops values of excellence, persistence, industriousness, resilience, and many more. Studying is one of the main ways to become the best person you could be in the future. It is important to study, and your success depends largely on your present study habits. Study habits are the ways a learner plans and do his school tasks, with or without instructions from adults. Effective study habits lead to high academic performance. Study habits can be developed. You may start by simply spending more time reading, organizing your school materials, and scheduling your homework. It could also be improved by learning from others or using proper reading, audiovisual, and other materials to help you in your studies. Also, good time management is part of appropriate study habits. You can never stop the time, but you can have the habit of doing things on time. It is best to finish your seat work and homework on time. Follow your class schedule to learn more and develop the skills you need in school and life. If you do these, it is most likely that you would have excellent academic grades in your present subjects and succeed in the future. For your You Can Do It activity, you are going to create your weekly study plan based on the new normal set up in education. Study the sample provided. Below is the table that will serve as your guide in doing the activity. To test what you have learned in this module, you are going to do the What I Have Learned activity. You are going to make a pie chart. Slice a circle according to how much of your time is allotted for your daily activities. Refer to the sample below as your guide. And lastly, you are now going to share your thoughts and feelings. Number 1. What can you say about the pie chart activity? 2. What got the biggest share of your time? And three, how will it help you attain your academic goal?